Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start showing you guys how I'm going to install this. I'm going off the directions from the PrinterBot Junior. This is my first time doing it. I've never, ever done anything like this before. So, hopefully we're doing everything right. So, place down the heat bed with, you can see the filaments here facing up. And the PrinterBot logo is facing down. And then you take your, let's see, where can I, there we go. Take your uh, thermostat, and the way that they placed it in the picture was the line just past um, what looks like this long silver shaft. And they placed it right about there. And then they put a piece of captain tape over it, like that. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick. So they just want you to make sure that the wire is going out the same direction as um, the heat plate. And then again, their picture they show it going, you know, like that. So anyways, uh, then all you gotta do is take the four little tiny silver screws that comes with the kit and place them in. They give you your own little wrenches to Alright, so uh, now that my wings have dried enough to touch them at least, I'm going to get started on taking off my print table here and then getting started on attaching this one. In the meantime, I also figured out my power supply and how to do that. It's really simple and we'll do that last. So uh, in case you've never done this before, uh, the first thing you do to take off your table is, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. You can take out these four or take out these two on the side here. I prefer to take off these four and then do the side. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this and get that done. So now that I have that done, you can take this off. And underneath you can see that sweet table fix I did to make my table flat. <laughs> and then, uh, the only other thing you need to do now is get this belt off. So they sent some zip ties with the kit. I still prefer not to cut them off right now. I don't know if I can. Nope, I'm going to have to cut it. So I went ahead and cut that zip tie, I'm holding this belt on. I'm gonna remove the uh, locker off there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take out my belt. And the table's all the way off. And all I have to do now to get this, the rest of the belt off is clip off the next zip tie. And before I go too far, I wanna show you guys uh, this is what Octoprint does to your bed when you probe the z-axis. I don't know, there's supposedly some fix out there for it, but it really sucked. But I'm, I'm going to put this up on my wall as a battle scar. Okay, so next step after getting that belt off is to get these black things off. All you got to do is just pull. Hopefully you don't knock off everything on your desk like I did. Where do I mask? Okay. So that's off. And then they send you with another one for 
the wires to go through. So if you look at these in comparison, um, the one they send you has a notch where the other one does not. You see that? So since I have wires coming out this side anyways, I'm just going to continue to have wires coming out this side. Slip this guy back over there. It's okay. going all pushed on there nice. Got the new new piece. Got the yard. And then I'm gonna put the table together and attach it to the printer bot. So, my wings done. My table back over here. Now, I send you with all the bolts you need, so you can just go ahead and assemble it. So there you go. We got the wings put on. Looks pretty good. Uh, it's matching, just great. So I'm happy with the, the paint job. Um, everything's pretty clean. Uh, owner, only like small note I have is I don't know if the wings really match up to the uh, like right here. The wing is shorter than the table is. Where over here the wing is the same length as the table. You know what I mean? So they're a little bit off. So my only critique on that. And then the next step is to attach the table to uh, the printer. And in my dry run I noticed a little bit of a hiccup. Mainly and trying to get these cords to fit. So, put them back on his back. See if I can show you. Try to play with my camera. Okay. Alright, so, when we go ahead and put this table on, um, Mind you, this is the piece, this black piece over here is the piece where uh, there's that notch. So the table sits in here and the wires, I presume, should go through this notch over here on the black um, arm. And not that they won't if I don't squish them, but that's uh, pretty squished in there. I, you can't, I, I'm not going to be able to get enough of resolution to show you, but um, that's getting pretty squished in there. If there was any way to get a little bit more leeway out of the printer bot, uh, it might be, might be better. If you just made that, that um, route deeper on that black arm, that might, that might do the trick. So anyways, I'm going to attach the table, we're going to go from Oh, and I nearly forgot. Don't forget to reattach your uh, belt. I almost did. I was putting it together. Okay, so I just gotta say, getting that belt back through the wheel sucks. I fed it all the way down through the bottom, got it untangled from the wires, and fed it all the way back up to the top. Just in case anybody else has a hard time, that's the way I did it. But it's a pain. And all it is is. Uh, you know, you just gotta attach one side and get it through. Then you can attach your table and then put this lock, locker back on there, um, tighten it up. So. Okay, so now you can see that the table is attached. And the wires fed underneath that <coughs> route in this black bar and if it 
nicely in between the black bar and the end of, this, of the wing. I haven't decided whether I want to put it those wires underneath the belt. Uh, like if the belt would keep them nice up, you know, tucked up in there nicely, or if I want them to be able to kind of get back in here on their own. I think that's probably what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put that belt back together and then start putting the wires in. Okay, so now to do all the wiring. It's pretty straightforward. Um, what I did is I just routed them through over here. That may change in the future. You can all obviously choose to do whatever you want to do. But um, the <clears throat> thermostat gets plugged in up here where it says T bed. You can see that there's a two prong. And then the uh, bed, the actual temperature for the bed gets plugged in over here where it says hot bed. Sweet. So, already I've noticed a bolt coming loose. That one just was weird. Again, those holes don't line up too well for me. Alright, so anyways, now I go to the power supply. This is super easy. Um, I, I live on the west coast and luckily my city has a place where you can, uh, it's like a non-profit organization where you go in and recycle computer parts. So I was able to pick up this uh, thermal take, let's see, what's it got? Uh, 650 watt. Um, ATX power supply uh, for 12 bucks. It's used, but it works awesome. So when you do this, in my case, uh, you know, there's all these wires. Get this guy out of here. Okay, so there's all these wires, right? And if you've never done this before, it'd be kind of uh, confusing. Basically, uh, these four prong connectors are your 12 volt. And this is the piece that comes with the kit uh, to plug into your printer. And it doesn't matter which one, you can just plug that into either one of those. And then the thing I was freaking out about, I thought my power supply was dead, being that it's used and I got it for 12 bucks. Uh, I didn't know the, the next step and um, in order to make this power supply work what you have to do is find the green wire and then find another black wire, it doesn't matter which black wire and then bridge them so luckily I have a little jumper kit but um, you can see there I just put a little tiny jumper in between there and then it works so I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in for you all. That looks ugly. And turn on my power supply. And then It's on. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna hook up the repetier, repetier, or whatever you want to call it, and see how the bed heats up. Oh, forgot one last thing: the captain tape. Um, I've never done it before, but from what I read, it's like putting on one of the screen protectors for your cell phone. Um, it's real simple. I think you guys saw me put it on for the the. The heat, heating filament. 
I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to do it later. I want to make sure that the bed's heating up properly and all that kind of stuff before I mess with that. So I'll get over to that. Alright, so I just wanted to show you guys. Uh, looks like it's all in good working order. Um, bed has reached its temp. feel it, it's nice and warm. Uh, it's set at 55 degrees right now, and so I'm going to shoot it up to 60, and then we can watch how fast it heats up. So I'm going to get rid of the extruder right now. Great, so it's going up to my desired temp and it's sticking there. I've uh, read one or two places where people are having issues with it not stopping. They are probably just not having their uh, thermostat on right. Anyways, it looks good. So, uh, just for the final recap, there goes my fisheye lens. Uh, here it is with all the wires tucked in. If I can get this camera off, this is tight. I'll move the bed real quick so you guys can check out. I kind of zip tied them up underneath. Looks nice. Right about there is when they start showing. I also got my captain tape put on there. So that's the finished product. Uh, I want to thank everyone for watching and please subscribe if you liked the video. And hopefully, I'll have another one out soon.